Hi. Hello again. My name is Denise Pai. I'm from Be More Yoga and Fitness. Um, today I'm bringing to you a yoga practice which focuses on stress and anxiety. So the reason why it does that is some of the poses are quite enlivening, invigorating and opening. And it just makes you feel in a more relaxed and focused position, especially if you've had a tough day or if you're having a tough time, it's something to practice. Um, so I've made my notes in relation to the practice, so I will refer to them. But we're going to start off with just some grounding, really. So if you could take yourself to the cross legged position, that would be great. And we're just going to do some stretches to the side, just to open up that feeling of um, opening our heart, opening our body and just stretching up. So first of all, I would just like you to take your hand, put it on the left hand side and just stretch over the right side with the hand up. If you can, just roll your neck up towards your armpit and breathe back down, looking towards the floor. Just do that again, give your neck a roll. Nose up towards the armpits, not always pleasurable. And then back down, looking towards your feet. Back to the start. And then do the same again with the opposite side. Nice big stretch on an inhale. And roll your neck if it will allow. And then back down. Same again. And then back down. Back to the position. We're just going to stretch that neck. We've rolled the neck. Now we're going to stretch it. So take your hand, your left hand, and just place it on the right side your head above your ears and then I want you to gently pull towards the left hand side you can use your hand to gravitate towards the best stretch possible the more you stretch and move your hand the bigger stretch you can get up the side of your neck towards your shoulders it's up to you you can continue just like that breathe nice and easily take the stretch to wherever is comfortable for yourself and then when you're coming back to the middle just make sure you take your neck back yourself don't let it flop and then the opposite side the same and then hand to guide the stretch Come to the middle. It's a lovely, lovely day out there. So there's lots of birds um, around, so you might hear them tweeting. And there's a lovely wind in the trees, so it's really, really nice day to practice. Okay, so we're going to start by lying down and doing some hamstring stretch and work. When I'm going to do this, I'm just going to move another mat here to come a bit further away so you can see what I'm trying to achieve. Okay. So if you lie down, that's it. Just have a minute, lying down, making sure your shoulders place nice on the floor, roll them down, breathe. Take your left knee up, place the foot firmly on the floor, and lift your right leg up. Take your hands if you can, place them behind your leg and just pull in for a lovely stretch of the hamstring. If you want to and you do, you can move further above the knee joint and you may, but it's only what's comfortable to you. There should not be any pain, only a little mild discomfort initially. Now, the options here we try to move the leg outside of the leg, outside of the body, just to open that 
that hip. So for most people, you can dive towards the left hand side and hold. Some people may be able to use the toe to do the same. Whichever you want to do, you may. So for the purposes of yourself, I'm going to guide because I want to make sure and once I'm there, I put my hands down and I can just keep my bottom on the floor. This is opening the hip joint here. Now I'm not flexible enough to allow my hand to still be on the toe without releasing my sitting bones from the floor and that's not where I want to be. Bring them back up. Take your leg, your left leg down, flat to the floor, and then roll over. So rotate your leg to the right. Try and keep your shoulders floor. Feel the stretch on the inside as well, and on the outside. Still remaining focused. And with your shoulders firmly on the floor, Breathe evenly. Back into the middle. And allow your leg to fall to the side. We're going to repeat on the other side, okay? Lift your left leg in the air. Breathe. Place your hands wherever you want to to get that hamstring stretch here. A little bit further up here. Okay. Breathe evenly. yourself to fall into the practice. Don't think about anything else about the other than the moves in your body. On this occasion I'm just going to guide my leg to a certain point, place our hands on the floor and allow the leg to go out. Now you sometimes and I have heard a little pop on both sides where my hip was just popped. <laughs> As it's gone over, it's completely natural. No damage. Keep the toe up and try and keep shoulders on the floor. So look at my body, I can see it's completely forward. Bring your leg right back up to the front. Drop the right leg to allow for some rotation over to the other side. Breathe. Keep your shoulders firmly on the ground. Your sitting bones, your right glutes, going to come up because it's rolling over. Don't worry. Just ensure that sorry, the left glutes can come up. Just don't worry. Just ensure the right glutes planted in your mat. And come back. Just lift your legs up and just place them into the balancer position. Okay? So all you need to do is just roll your spine. Now the next thing we're going to do, just place the left leg on the floor like before. Extend the right knee, grab hold of the toe and pull it in. Now it's like a half happy baby, so we're just opening that hip there. Get a nice, gentle pull, so you can feel the stretch. You'll get that in the quads and just in the groin area. Okay, now all I want you to do is just lift the left leg now up and place that right ankle across the knee. Thread your hands through the left back of the left leg. And allow the left knee to push against the right angle. So this is like a needle thread pose. Just stretching and invigorating out ourselves with their glutes. We will be getting up in a bit, but we just want to prepare ourselves for some of the moves we're going to do. Bring, go back to 
to the other side. So the right foot's going on the floor and the left leg is extended. So we can get hold of the toes and just pull forward a bit to just take the hips slightly out. And breathe. Bring the right knee in, take the left ankle over the knee and thread your hands through the right thigh, back of it. And use the lever of your knee to push forward and get that lovely stretch in the left glute. Okay, back. Last now, we just roll up, take the roll, and that's our side. Now we're just going to come up, okay? Now we're going to start with some warm up, some salutation. Okay, I'm going to show you from the side, and it's got a few. War, a warrior two and a trikonasana in it. It is a sun salutation, so it is a little bit quicker. We do work with the breath. So the first one I'll do a couple, and after that we're working with the breath. So what we need to be doing is taking an inhale, arms up, and an exhale, forward, forward. Knees can be soft, shoulders relaxed, and with the head towards the floor. Okay. Come up halfway, bend your knees, hands to the floor, walk back and lower from the plank onto the floor. Take an inhale, cobra or supported cobra and an exhale down. Put your feet into the mat, take an inhale, press up and pull up through your abdomen and your glutes into downward dog on the inhale and on the exhale, press back through your calves, ensuring that your head is dropped between your elbows and your chest is moving towards your knees. Take a right leg up and allow that momentum to sweep through. Twist your left foot and you'll get behind of me into warrior two. Push, bend the knee, push into warrior two, gaze towards the left. Hand turn right hand. Take an inhale, straighten. Tilt towards the right and the exhale, windmill over so your right hand is behind your right foot. Then looking up. Bend your knee, allow your left leg to come back, join the other one lower from plank to the floor. Inhale up to cobra, exhale down, inhale back up, lift it up through the abs, the glutes. Into downward dog, exhale, push back through your calves, relax. Take an inhale, sweep your left leg through, twist your right leg, come into warrior two. Straighten up, inhale, tilt, exhale, wiggle over. And allow your right leg to join your left. Okay. Then another forward fold and inhale up. Okay, now that's our trichinasana sun salutation. And I will show you this from the front. And I'm going to continue a couple on each side just to prepare our body for the asanas that we're going to do today. Okay, so you get it front side as well. Lovely. Take an inhale and exhale, forward, forward. Halfway up, bend knees, walk back. Lower to the floor. Take an inhale, up cobra. And an exhale, down. And in inhale, pull up into downward dog. Exhale, push back into your calves. Take your right leg up, back, and swing it through all the way into warrior two. Exhale up, straighten, inhale, tilt, and wiggle over, or 
2014. Oh well, the right leg's come back into the plank and lower. In, inhale up, over, exhale down. Ooh, the wind's picking up. Inhale up, down the dog. Exhale, push back to the calves. Take the left leg up, swing it through, twist the right leg, and come into warrior two. Straighten up. And inhale, tilt. Exhale, in the middle. And allow the right leg to join the front. Bend the knee, bend stretch it forward, forward, inhale. Okay, I'm going to do another couple of those. Just warm up, just to make our body feel great before we do the rest of the exercises. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through as minimal as I can so that you can just listen and know what you're going into. Inhale. Exhale, over, forward, forward. Halfway, bend knee, foot back. Lower to the floor. Bring yourself up into cobra. Using your breath. Bring yourself down. To downward dog. Right leg back. And to warrior two. Straighten up. Tilt. Into trikonasana. Join back into plank, lower. Bring yourself into cobra. Using the breath, back down. Lift up into downward dog. Take the left leg up, bring it through to worry two. Straighter, tilt, and the lower. Allow the front to join, bend, straighten, inhale. One more. Okay. Help. Exhale over. Okay, halfway up, bend knees all back. Lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down. Inhale down the dog. Right leg up. Through. Don't stop your toe like I just did. To worry you too. Straighten, tilt, trikonasana. All the way back to the floor, plank, lower. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up to down and dog. Right leg up, left leg up, through to two, or you two. Straighten, tilt, trikonasana. Join the front, bend, stretch. And you should be fully warmed up and mobile for the next bit of the practice. I'm just going to take myself a drink. Okay, and we're going to start working on the tabletop and twisting. Okay, so I'm going to do it from side up so you can see my mat. Got a couple of mats here just to adjust. Here's what I provided earlier. Okay. I want you to go into the tabletop. Okay. So shoulders. Okay, are over your own wrist. Just relax. And your knees are just underneath your hips. So just slowly twist them up to the left. And you'll feel your left hip pulling back. And your right stretching. You just look as far as you can go. And up. That's a really good feeling as it stretches. And then back in the middle. And then go to the other side. So you'll feel again, if you're looking behind you, the left hip will pull back. And you'll feel the stretch. The right hip will pull back and you feel stretching the left hip. I'm really not getting my left and right today. But you know what I mean. And then come back. Now, we're going to lower to the floor. Okay, all the way down. We're going to do three stages, back bends. So put your hands in front. Keep your forearms on front. And take an inhale, push. 
your hips into the ground, contract your glutes, and hold up. So inhale and hold that. Take all the still there. And breathe. Come to the middle. Take up to the right. Breathe. Come to the middle. Bring that. And the next one, put your hands to the side. Take an inhale. Come up a little bit further into Cobra. You may be able to bend to straighten your arms or you can have them bent. And hold. Relax your head. And the next option, when we go back down, is to do the same. Oh, my nose just shut. Or you may be able to come up into upward dog. So this is what upward dog looks like. So I've got my toes in the floor. Take an inhale, an upward dog, and I'm lifting up so that my thighs are off the ground. You don't have to do that, but that's the third one as we move forward. Okay, and then one. Okay. Now, all I'd like you to do now is just pull up, okay, into a tabletop, and then come up into downward dog. Okay. Relax, and downward dog, and just cycle the legs. And breathe. Take a look left and right this time, as long as it's underneath your armpits, not anywhere else. So we're not contracting the neck, just rolling it. And then walk slowly up into a half forward fold with a flat back. Okay, relax. And then inhale into the Okay. Now when I've stood up, you can't really see me from there, so I'm moving forward. Okay, so all I'm going to actually do now is just do a soft forward fold. So take an inhale, and an exhale forward fold. Just bend your knees slightly. I want you to just put both your hands on the back of your neck, so it just lengthens the neck. And then take your head towards your knees, soft knees, just slowly rock, breathe, start to feel the blood rushing to our head, to where we want to be, just to feel wide, stay where you are, inhale up, into Tadasana. Okay. Now I'm just going to look at my next leg. So this is going to be a bit more complex. And I'm going to come to the front for you this time. So, we're just going straight into Warrior 2. So I'll show you on the side angle. This is more helpful. Okay. So, Take the right foot forward and the left foot out in front. So the right foot's 90 degrees, the left foot forward and the torso is facing forward. And just bend the right knee, make sure you're nice and aligned into warrior two and hold. So we're going to go into a side angle pose, but this time we're going to lower, okay? our hand to the front of the ankle. So we're just going to bring our right hand, place it at the front of the ankle. As we take our left hand, just towards our knee, and stretch over. So you get that on the inside of your leg. Okay. Stay there. And then come back up. Now, what I want you to do, bring them aside again, 
is turn yourself into a wide forward fold. And if you need blocks, half blocks, so you can put the head on and take an inhale. And lower. Put your hands on the floor. And if you have a block, just allow your head to rest on the block. If you can go further, have your head rest on the floor. And make sure that the weight is more rolling on the balls of your feet than your heels. And hold. And breathe. How does that feel? Now, you can come up, okay? I want you to come up and just take a stretch to the left with straight legs. Nice and up. Okay, going back into the same position. Okay, it's a warrior two. So up, take your right foot out to the left foot facing forward. I'm going to do a reverse trikonasana, and that will mean we'll just windmill your hands on the same plane, take the left hand towards the right foot on the inside, and look behind. If you wish, you can put your gaze forward and you can just drop your hand. It's completely up to you. Yeah, completely up to you. Stay where you are. Just give it a little, a little bit more. And then come back up. Okay, then take your feet at 10 to 2. Okay, so that's looks like that. So you're going to squat down. Put your hands on your knees. Breathe and squat and ensure your core and spine is stacked. Okay. Doing a really good job now. Hands on the knees. Turn your neck to the left. it into the middle, your hands up and hold in the prayer. Okay, bring your hands down to the heart and then straight back up. Into the middle, and up for Tadasana and back down. We are now going to do the warrior two on the left leg. So your left foot is 90 degrees. Move my instructions of what I'm trying to do. Right foot is 90 degrees. Right foot is out, torso facing forward. Take an inhale and push all the way through your thighs. Your gaze is towards the left hand. And hold. Nice, even breathing. You should feel it around here. And here. Okay. We are now going to put our right hand, left hand on the floor in front of our left foot and then take our right hand over our ears, sweep it across the ears and take that stretch across. Normally it's side angle would be like that, this is lower. If you struggle, do a side angle. Come back up. Again, we're going to do the same. So you've got the side of me. So we're facing forward in a wide forward fold. Take an inhale and tilt forward. Hands to the floor. When you're ready with the stance, block if you need to. If not, place your head on the floor or the block and relax. So remember about the weight of the balls of the feet. Hold. Okay. What I want you to do is come slowly back up. And we're going to do another stretch on the opposite side with our legs straight. So take a lovely stretch. That's it. A lovely stretch. Just reversing the stretch that we did before. Come back, take your left foot out, pay 90 degrees to your body. The same position we're in to worry to. 
This time we're just going to reverse on the triangle. So take your hands out, bring them forward on the same plane. Take your right hand in front of your left foot and look behind. Breathe. Just get a lovely stretch. Great stuff. Bring it back up. Come back into ten to two. So you get me side up for my sumo squats. Hands on. Breathe. Shoulders back. Look left. Turn it up. Look right. Turn it up. Take your hands up. Lower if you can. Keep your spine stacked. Don't move forward. Hands out. Come back up. Take an inhale up. And then exhale back down. Okay. So if you want to get a drink, you can do. We are now going to do some work in a high lunging three legged dog. I keep moving the mat so you get every angle you can for me. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, this work is starting to look at doing a three-legged dog into a high lunge, some prayer work, and shoulder rolls. We can take some back work again, sphinx pose, cobra, and upward dog only if you want to. So come to the top of your mat. Take an inhale. And then exhale, forward, forward, please. Okay, come up halfway, bend your knees, walk back. Okay. Lower to the floor. Take an inhale. And a little back bend. Just like you did before. And then back down. Let's bring ourselves into downward dog. Okay. What this looks like now in downward dog, I want you to bring yourself up into a high lunge. But I'd like you to ensure that you really do take that right leg far back up. So bring your right leg up as far as you can. Hold it, slowly bend it, and allow it to sweep all the way through to come into a high lunge. Move my nose. So we're in a high lunge, okay? Stay where you are in a high lunge. And this could also be classed as a crescent pose. Right. Okay, what I'd like you to do, I would like you to just come up slightly, take a breath, and allow that breath to go to the side. And hold. Really working on the glutes here. Really opening that body. And then something a little bit different, I would like you to take your left hand and put it on outside the right foot. Because normally we put it here, we're going for the biggest stretch. And take your hand right up behind. And really, hoping you don't fall over, keep your balance. Open that heart. Stay there. It's hard, you can drop your hand if you want. That really helps. Okay. Are you ready to come back into the middle? Okay, take your right leg back and lower all the way to the floor. Okay, what we're going to do is a shoulder roll. So I'd like you to take your left and right hand out, palms facing down. Okay. Look to the right with the cheek on the left. Place the hand, right hand on the floor to allow you to just push over. So if you can see here, this is going to be flat on the floor. And what you're going to see, look, you look up, there you go, is that I am literally opening my shoulders. Okay? Now, you can stay there, you're opening the shoulder. The next option would be that. Now, if you can, take the, that arm that's out behind, bring it a bit further down, and allow it to meet. There, you see? And clasp. 
And if you want to go a little bit harder, roll a bit further over and take both feet up. That is the highest progression. You can really feel the shoulders, but you don't have to. Go back to the other areas if you want. And then when I do it on the other side, you'll see it. So bring it back. Roll it back over. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, you've done a really, really good job. So now we're in the middle of the mat. I'd like you to take hands on both your ankles. And then when you take the inhale, lift your thighs off the floor, press your belly in, lift your shoulders, and press those ankles into your hands. And we're going to do a pose. Are you ready? Inhale up. You feel it in your quads, but after a while, you'll drop that feeling and you'll get a bigger back bend. Invigorating. And hold. And lower. Come back to a super position. Okay. Three sets of back bends. Are you ready? Inhale, Sphinx. Look left. All right. Coming to cold, second inhale. Stay where you are. And come back down. Either another cobra or another dog. Inhale. And come back down. Bring yourself into downward dog. And then just take your right level and place it right in front into pigeon pose. Now, make sure that your hips are facing forward. If you need a block under there to ensure they don't fall down, that's great. Please do so. Okay, because that is what we need to ensure our hips are straight. If you want to go a bit further, lower onto the floor, stretch out, or put your hands. Okay, you rest your head on your hands, it's up to you. Get that lovely stretch. Invigorating stretch. You know what, once you've been here for a few seconds, you can actually you can stay here because your body just relaxes into it. Try that for some time when you have got the time. Come back up. Take your left leg up, okay? Take your right hand and just pull it on the outside. Nice stretch. If you can't do this, don't worry, just stop. Really, really good stretch. All the way down. Bring yourself up, back into downward dog. I'm going to do the opposite side, okay? So just comfortably relax into downward dog. Be happy with where you are, your posture, alignment, the length of your spine, your neck, and your calves. Take the left leg up in a really high, one three-legged dog. Bend it slightly, bring it through to high lunge. Stay there, high lunge, you're just doing the opposite side. Yeah. Okay, just slowly come up. Take the prayer, swap it to the other side. If you want to put your elbow on your knee, you can. I'm going to stay a little bit upright, just so I can feel that a bit more here and on the outside. Okay, now, what I'd like to do, we normally place our hand on the inside of the foot. We're just going to make it more difficult if you can. Place your hand on the outside of the foot. And if you can, open up your heart without Falling over. Open. Open those. Open. Shoulders and the heart. Come back into the middle. Knee leg back. Lower to the floor. Okay, we're going to do that different shoulder roll. You'll be able to see it. So, hands out. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to do the opposite side. So right cheek on the floor, my hand is going to be up in front to push. 
Take an inhale and you're going to roll it up. Now I'm just going to move this behind because I'm going to allow my hand to clasp behind. Then I'm going to take my leg up. Okay, you can feel that in the shoulders. I'm going to roll it a little bit more. Take both up. It really does open the shoulders if you have got that rotation. If not, stay at the first level. Come back down. All the way. Okay, we're going to do three cobras. The three back bends. Sorry, take an inhale. I'm just going to sphinx. Look left. Roll. Look right. Feels good. Now go. Bring your hands to the side of your chest. Take an inhale. And you can either go here, here, or push it up here. And then either lower and stay on the floor, lower and come up against Cobra, or lower and go up to down and down. Inhale. Lifting everything off the ground, feet on the floor, back bend. Now, from that, either lower to the ground and come up into the downward dog, or from an upward dog, come straight into a downward dog. Take the left leg forward through this pigeon. Push the right leg back. Again, keep your hips forward. And if you need something under here, block, please do so. Make sure that your hips are straight and you can sit on that bar. Now, if you want to lower, you can do. Go all the way down to the floor. Stretch if you want to. Just get in it. Just allow your body to relax into it. First, it's a bit of mild discomfort. And then your body just gets used to the position you're in. So don't worry. You can stay high, low, wherever you feel is the most comfortable. back up, keep the right leg up, take the left hand, up hold it, and get that lovely feeling, you should feel it all the way down your quads. And come back down. Now what I should do, if you can, if you jump through into a cross legged position, like this. I'm staying on the side because I just wanted to show you something. Take my clip out. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bridge pose and then we're going to go into a lion butterfly then a wheel pose. Let me just demonstrate what we're doing before we even try. try apologies. So the bridge pose would be lifting up, I'm going to do it quickly, and then just clasping your hands underneath and shimmying your shoulders, okay? So we're going to do that. Don't do it now, just want to show you something. Then we're just going to relax and just take the pressure off our back for a minute to prepare for our next asana, which is the wheel pose. There is options and you don't have to do this. So the wheel pose consists of putting our hands okay the opposite way to what we used to wrists out underneath and tilting our head onto our head so lifting our hips and this is the option if you want to go for the wheel pose take your feet in and lift okay some people may struggle with the wrists and want to stay here some people may want to continue just moving the bridge, whichever is yours. So, come with me. We won't be staying too long in the wheel, but I just want to talk you through it. So, taking it, so lie now, nice and calm, sitting bones, shoulders down, taking an inhale, lift up, shimmy shoulders underneath, 
Clasp your hands and just hold and breathe. Stay there. I'm looking because I thought somebody was coming to see me. That would be in the video, wouldn't it? So we're really preparing our body for the arch and then lower. And then just put your soles of your feet together and relax. Just take the pressure off the back to prepare for the wheel pose. Now, if you don't want to do the wheel pose, my suggestion is that you just do another bridge pose. It's not going to take as long to get in or out because we're not used to it, so we're not going to stay. Okay, so what you need to do is just put your heels to the back of your bottom, your hands on the opposite to the floor, and lift your hips. Okay. Happy with that? Go on to your toes, okay? And lift up, hold, 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 lower, slowly back down. And wiggle your wrists around. I think some people are just happy with the second stage, which is on the head. That's fine, just keep that. Okay. I'm just going to sit up now, just for a minute. And I want you to lie and massage your spine. I just need to check. So come back and massage your spine. We're nearly at the end of the practice. Hopefully, you should feel a little bit enlightened. We're just going to start opening the hip in a true pose. Okay, so it's going to turn everything around. Okay, now if you want to use blocks for this, you can. I'm just going to get some because this is where it opens your shoulders. You don't need to. But you should quite, and if you've got a little bit of strength in your hands, it's pretty invigorating. If you've not, and you want to lower onto your knees, that's absolutely fine. So, come to the bottom of your mat. Take an inhale, left leg grounding, right foot up, just there. And then when you're happy, and you want to, take it a little bit further. And come up into prayer. Use the momentum, the push against the foot to the leg to open the hips. And power. Walk forward. I'm going to go onto the block, I need to bring them a bit nearer. And take a shot around rolling down. So hold, 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 and then come back up. Walk back up. Now, you could walk, don't use the blocks, and then drop your knees and lower to the floor. Or if you want to shut around but just drop yourself to the floor, bring your knees to get up, you can do. Really not a problem. Different levels. Right leg, grounded, taking an inhale up, just come to here, just to get that balance. And then Bring your foot to wherever you want to. Open up your hips to the tree. Take an inhale. And just focus. I think now I'm looking at the screen, it's going light and down. I think that's just the trees in front. Lower. And I'm just going to do one more walk. I'm going to go on my block because I'm going to lower all the way, not quite to the floor, and then all the way back up. Take it in out. Got to Asana. We are nearly there. I'm just going to sit down. I'm not going to be standing back up, I'm just going to do a wide seat. Okay, so as wide as you can get it, nobody else, it doesn't really matter. Now you can put your hand on there, and we're going to stretch over. 
Now, please don't stretch forward at the moment over. And if you can't reach your toes, just take that stretch. If you want to put your hands on your toes and stretch over to the side, just do it. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. So get the stretch without going through pain or trying to have any, you know, competition with anybody. Because yoga isn't about how far you can stretch your body. It's about how good you can feel. So take your foot, take an inhale, or this, and then over we go. Now if you can, take your head up towards your arm bit, and then take it down. Do that one more time. And then down. It's not great sniffing your arm bit again, it, but rolls your head. Back up to the middle. And the left side. Here. Or here. Different sides are different. You're just not always you're dominant on one side. You're just not always good on the other. Roll your head. And then back down. Roll your head. And then back down. And now I want you to try and fold. So lift up, let me spine and try and fold forward. Try to see where you can get your elbows and your hands. Drop your head. And just to give it a little invigorating pose, take your feet up, take your hands out behind, these wrists towards your bottom, and just open your chest, you know, lift. And come back. Okay. Again. Lengthen the spine, tilt forward, and see how far you can go. Drop your head. Relax the neck. We do not want the neck to contract. And then come back up. Okay, now we're just going to move forward onto tabletop and we're going to do some stretching. Now, we're going to do it from the side and it's great if you want to use the blocks, it will just stretch out the shoulders if you don't have to. So, all I want to do is the tabletop, so I'm on the blocks at the moment. Okay, so we take an inhale in, lengthen, so we're, we're really hollowing the spine, bottom up, head up. And on the exhale, we're rounding it, shoulders round, belly in. Head drops, and then we're pushing, pulling back into a sitting position and extended child's pose. But if you've got the blocks, you get a low stretch. That's all. Just allows you to go a little bit lower into your shoulders and your lats. And come back up. Inhale. Exhale. Sit back. It's really getting that nice feeling now. And then we have two more, and you can do those in your own time. Take an inhale, and exhale. Back. And back up, last one, inhale. You're doing all right, yeah, exhale. And that's from the back up. Now, from the tabletop position, move your blocks away and just come up into downward dog. One last chance of just getting the blood to your head and relaxing. Get yourself in position. Just a little bit different to what you used to. Keep your left hand on the floor, just take your right hand and just twist and open your heart. Hold. And back. Sit back into down the dog. Stretch your calves. Any knees if you want to. You really don't have to be straight. And then up again. On the opposite side. And breathe. And come back down. Bend your knees. Just sit back into child pose. Nice and relaxed. And just sit there for a few 
breaths. Okay, so the last two things we're going to do is a camel pose. So if you want to, if you put your blocks underneath your four feet, front of your feet. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm going to just demonstrate it with, or people who are not used to it, you don't have to. Okay, take, take a breath in, tilt, okay, your hips forward, drop your shoulders back, bend your back, drop your head back, grab hold of your ankles, and just allow yourself to release control. This is a lovely back bend, an invigorating pose, but actually, you can't, you're not taking the weight anywhere, you can't feel it. It's, your, it's only your back that gets that lovely back bend. Back up, and then just kick them to the side, and then lie them low into a chair. Come up, and then just to finish, knees, the floor high knees, block in front, take an inhale, hold your block up. Exhale, put it down to the right, put the pressure on it so you can stretch. So you can really use the stretch without hitting your back because you've got pressure on this. Come back up. Same on the other side. So if you didn't have the block, you put pressure on your back. If you've got the block, use it to get the stretch here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Okay, come up. Let's take a seat. Okay, okay. Now, we have just completed a practice that helps reduce stress and anxiety. Only if you practice those poses regularly, you will feel the benefit. But even today, you should feel the benefit of feeling more invigorated and open. Okay, so I suggest that you lie down when I turn off this, um, this video and just relax and just take a few minutes to breathe in and out and just relax the body into the mat. I know your muscle parts, your shoulders, your bottom, your sitting bones, your abs. And just give that time to yourself with the breathing because that is a really important part of practice to do. But until then, okay, thank you so much for following the practice and I hope you could do more. So if you fancy it, subscribe and the videos will keep coming. Take, take a big deep breath. Exhale, release your shoulders back. Hands together. Namaste. Thank you so much. Good night.